Hey y'all. Welcome back to Calvin's Corner Semi 2. Today, because uh, I've got a mail cow, I think it's from Steve Robb. Yep, that's what it says, Steve Robb. And just in your honor, I'm going to be frying up some okra. You said you never eat no okra? Well, I'm going to show you how we do it. And I'm also going to be doing some fried green tomatoes. That's what they look like after they cut. That's what they look like before they cut. Sue Pyro, I know you know what this is. <laughs> I'm going to use some of this uh, white lily self-rising cornmeal. And a few eggs whipped up. In a plastic bag to coat, to coat my okra in. So, uh, y'all sit back and enjoy. Today I'm not going to be cooking on the fireplace. I'm going to be using my, my turkey cooker in a cast iron skillet. I hope you approve. Y'all stay tuned. Yeah, y'all. Right you see I've got this flame going here. This is just my little turkey cooker. And I got a cast iron skillet. I'm getting the grease good and hot. It's kind of a little bit out of kilter here. I'm going to have to try to level it up. But, uh, She's getting good and hot. Now, old lady, she already fried up some fried tomatoes, green tomatoes today, and I eat them. They're real good. She didn't do any okra, so I figured it's going to be just as good. Using this, I just put a little extra lard in here, and uh, she'll be ready to go here in just a minute. Let me go ahead and batter everything up. Y'all hold tight. All right, y'all. Here we go. I'm going to take some of this. And and White Lily's not paying me to do this. Not not paying me to say this. All right. Put some Miss Flyer, this uh, cornmeal. All right. Couple cups, not a whole lot. That should be enough to get me started. I'm gonna lay out some paper towel right here. I hope y'all can see all this. Whew. All right, I'm gonna dip them big old May Mays in here. Drain off the excess. Throw them right in that flyer. All right, y'all see that? Shake them around a little bit. Now you can double batter them if you want, but I ain't gonna do it. I'm just gonna put single batter on them. See them how them come out good and coated? Good and nice and coated, that's all we want. Look at it, I got me an okra in there. Put him in there. Put them in there. You know what? I'm gonna do it the fast way. Cause that, that grease is getting good and heated up. And I'll tell y'all, plastic has helped us in this, in this world so much. It's unreal. It's amazing. How much we can do with plastic. It don't look good, does it? It's gonna taste good though. And there's another one that wanted me to do this okra. She said, Can you do me some fried okra? I'd like to see it. And I can't do this video without mentioning her name. This is all still in Steve Robb's honor because he sent me this mail call here. And he wanted to see it. He said he ain't never eaten none, so. She lives down in Australia. And she said, can you do me some cornbread? I like, I mean, some uh, some okra. I'd like to see some fried okra. 
And I said, yeah, I'll see what I can do. All right, y'all. Pan's good and hot. These are fried green tomatoes. Well, they're green. They ain't fried yet. They're getting there. <laughs> Shouldn't take these very long to cook. Oil's pretty hot. And it's hot out here. <laughs> I just wanted to do it outside. I mean, I'm tired of cooking inside all the time. It's been hot today. And I Miss Betty, she cooked uh, fried green tomatoes and fried chicken. And she cooked... Uh, mashed taters, then they had, the, had the ranch in them and all that, and uh, she cooked the uh, macaroni and cheese, the shelled macaroni and cheese, and then uh, I ate like a big dog, fried chicken, I mean it's awesome, my god, I'm going to tell you it was awesome, so I've eaten enough today. But I'm going to eat just a little bit of this. Because she didn't do no fried okra. we got to have some fried okra pod. Ain't that right, Sue? <laughs> we'll let that stew right there a minute. And I'll flip them over and let them cook on the other side a little. They, uh... Yeah, I normally don't cook on this thing right here, but today, it just seemed like the easiest thing to do. But besides, I got my fire built for later on tonight. I got something else going on. Y'all hold tight a minute, and I'll flip these babies over. All right, y'all. It's been a total of about a minute, maybe two minutes. Maybe two minutes. I'm going to go ahead and start flipping these over. Ooh, look at that. Uh, yeah, and you can tell what side's fried and what side ain't. Now I know this ain't the most healthiest meal, and I got some paper towels. I'm gonna put it on the plate and let it drain off a little bit before I before I pop them in my mouth. Them's gonna be little nuggets of gold. I'm telling you, ochre is really good when it's fried like this. Now some people actually boil it. A lot of people say they don't like it because it comes out. It is kind of slimy inside. But boiling it, and I like it boiled. I like it. I like oak. I like squash boiled. Um, but uh, fried is probably the most favorite because you know you could just about fry anything, and somebody will probably put it in their mouth and eat it. Just about. You know. But uh, you know, I know people I've that's tasted fried, you know, fried squirrel, you know, which has got to be good, you know. It's fried, right? Fried fried frog legs. I love frog legs. I've eaten them. Um, I've eaten squirrel, not fried squirrel. I've eaten, uh, where it's made in the soup. Squirrel like dumplings. I make squirrel dumplings. And don't that look good? Man. That's, look at there. See, it's still green inside. It's still fresh. You just got that good coating on the outside. All right, I'm going to let these fry a couple minutes, and I'm going to take them off and put them over here on the paper towel. All right, y'all. I'm back. Man, that looks good. Good old walker pods. Nah. And, uh, Steve, I wish I could send you some of this, buddy. I really do. I know you need to try this. I know you're way up there in Canada. There ain't nothing like it, son. Ooh, hot. Mmm. Sweet. 
seems to be missing something. It ain't salt and pepper because, you know, it's already in there. Hmm. I think I know what it is. This is just for you, Steve. Oh, man, that sounded good. Fried green tomato. Let me get this little one right here. Woo. Oh man. Look at that. That is so good, but it's hot. <laughs> oh man. This is heaven. Look at that. Gotta try it if you ever get a chance. Alright. Steve Rob. Oh, and I forgot to tell y'all. Um, Jackie Comber. I hope I got her name right. She's the one who wants me to do this uh, corn. Uh, she wanted me to do the uh, okra. So, Jackie, big shout out to you. Um, I don't think she has, uh, she has a little bit of video content. I know she has a Facebook page. Um, I'll put her link down below underneath this, but uh, main man right now is Steve Rob. Steve, I appreciate it, man. It's awesome. Let's see what he sent me. Oh, yeah. If y'all have not checked out Steve Rob, let me tell you. He does channel reviews. He is awesome. Got to go. I'll put the link down below. I promise. He is awesome. And most people do know Steve Rob because he does channel reviews. It's really, 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 really nice how he does them. It's really fun. And uh, sent me two stickers, man. Thanks, Steve. Man, this is awesome, dude. I love it. Look at that. <laughs> oh, Steve Rob. He's got an awesome channel, man. Y'all have got to check him out. So... Big mad ups to Steve Rob right there. He sent me a little letter. Let me see what she says here. All right. He said, hi, hi Calvin. Here's a couple of stickers for you. Because you know how he speaks like you guys up north. <laughs> uh, one for your sticker board and the other for your toolbox. I may just put that on my kayak with, uh, with the other stickers I've been getting extra but I appreciate it. Um, just love watching another good old boy. <laughs> Y'all ain't seen that video. It's awesome. Steve done a video on uh, Jay's channel and me. Um, Farm Boy 30117. It's awesome. And he's got the Duke Boys car on and everything. It's really neat, man. Y'all got to go check it out. He done an excellent job on that. This is going to be nowhere near as good as his. But, um, uh, that puts a smile on my face. Get old boys. Get her done. Hey. Steve Rob. Man, thanks, Steve. You're the best, man. I appreciate it. This has been awesome. It's been a great day, but I got to go put all this stuff up, and I'm going to give this to them youngins in there. I'm sure they'll take care of it for me. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. It's awesome. Steve Rob, y'all. Y'all go check him out. I think you're going to like what you see. Matter of fact, I know you will. This is Calvin's Corner 72. Appreciate y'all coming by and seeing me today. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. Hey, guys. I almost forgot. I got to stick your sticker up. Steve, I got to put your sticker on the board, man. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Where am I going to put you? Right here. Right here. Sideways. Upside down. <laughs> You've done a good job putting me right out in the middle. I really appreciate it. But man, your sticker's just right for that corner. I'm telling you. And you know me, I'm partial to corners, so that puts you close to my heart. Now, if I can just get this thing undone. I know you're probably laughing at you. Boy, he's gonna have time with that. I see him, big old dang thing, man. 
Food you, brother. I got it. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Man, that looks so good up there. Y'all, come on over here and check it out. All right. Check it out. Steve Rob, right there in the corner, right next to Carolina Man. We got Darren Sharon. Darren Sharon, sorry. Uh, Keith 1212, Rockin' Channel, Texas Viking. Texas Viking. My man, Harvey Spooner. Matt, MBY 31, Coke 45, Friday Night 40, baby. Woo! There we go. Georgia Shade Tree Fix It, man. And these sticker here, old Mr. Captain Jerk sent me. There's the rest of the glove box. The one and only, Mr. Brat Ryder. Farm Boy 3117. A good old boy, just like me. Hey, y'all come back, see Captain's Corner. See me too, I appreciate it. Uh, uh, y'all like, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned. I will be shooting out some more videos for a while. Don't know what I'm going to do. I got a little bit of ideas going on around up here in this old brain. And, uh, God, it's, it's been great. I love this stuff, man. YouTube is awesome. Y'all are the ones that make it YouTube awesome. And I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Please come back, subscribe, like. And I really enjoy the comments. That's awesome. And, uh, what more can I say? It's Captain Corner 72. And I'm out of here.